and we are leaving Portsmouth, Dominica right now. Going to 20 miles to Scottshead, Dominica. This is the best place. It's just, if you like nature, Dominica is your spot. There's not much for services, but we did get water. There's public water along the streets. It's raining right now. There's water everywhere. And you don't have that in the Virgin Islands. I struggle to get water. So now it looks like we're in a proper rainforest. Public water, plantains left and right. We've had a lot of different funny little adventures here. Helping a guy whose boat dragged out to sea. And uh, we were given a lot of plantains in the end. So plantains, avocado, and mangoes for every meal. What was overboard? Uh, the neighbors lost sunglasses. Oh yeah, we had to dive, dive for their car keys for them under the water there. It's been great. And we even went and rented a car, drove around these crazy roads and went up to the boiling lake. So that was fun too. Anyway, now we get a scenic cruise. <laughs> cool. Yeah, we're moving again. Here we go. It's all up in that burning ball of fire up in the sky. And the gale that us. No wind either. We're motoring just so we can get there and enjoy the day. Got to use that diesel motor sometimes. Diesel loves to run. <laughs> and Dominica is the best island in the whole Caribbean. There's a little bit of wind. See that squall right there? little village we came real close into the coast wait close into the coast yep wow stunning evening we're having we are driving over the Champagne Beach right now where bubbles come up from the hot springs to test the theory that a bubble might form under the boat and we could drop a giant bubble and suddenly free fall 20 feet through the water. Well, we've heard some tall tales, but we are testing the theory for ourselves. So we will see if there really are giant bubbles yeah, and how we uh, handle that when that happens. The water comes rushing over the boat. I got some giant bubbles. <laughs> <laughs> right here. <laughs> Those are fart bubbles. Yep. Yep. We'll let that guy know we found him. <laughs> All right. I think the guy had a little too much champagne. Yeah, he did. 
It does. We're coming into a very exotic place. Check this out. Soufriere Dominica. That's our morning ball, I'm thinking. So let's grab that. This is the most beautiful place I've ever been in Mary Jo, maybe. Wow. Unreal. So that mooring ball was pretty cool, but we have to leave because, first of all, that one, it had um, massive cliffs that must have been 400 feet high rising from this deep ocean floor. Yeah, that's a place they gotta come back to. Yeah, come back for some diving right up to the surface. So there must be, like this thing, a bunch of pillars underwater. Anyway, the mooring ball was in way too close to them and it was a very wild spot. Um, so, and then we couldn't figure out any other mooring balls except for that one. We radioed the National Park, I guess, and they basically told us to get out of here. Uh, nature Dive Center. <laughs> the Nature Dive Center. They said there's nowhere for us. So we had, this, you know, pretty typical for this journey at this point. Good morning. So that last video, wow. Look at that. The last video got cut off really abruptly because the GoPro ran out of storage space. But basically what happened last night is we, um, oh yeah, we got cliffed out, you could say. There was a bunch of these underwater pillars rising all the way up to the surface and we could see them all around us and we said, nope, turn around. So we got out. And then we called the National Park people and they said, you're not allowed to anchor or grab a mooring anywhere in this area. You gotta go to Newtown. So we motored into the sunset last night for three or four miles and we came here, went to a mooring over there. The security guard showed up immediately, even after sunset, said, no, no, you have to follow me. He brought us right here to this, I've actually been to this town before. I didn't realize how close to shore we were. It drops off right to 200 feet, like right over here. It's crazy. But it's sort of a, a ghetto, you could say, this town. New town. Yeah, I stayed in a hotel here in 2015. Got eaten by mosquitoes. And people seem very friendly here. So it's not such a bad place at all anyway so we're going on a great hike today i want to i think let's uh get the day going it's gonna be a good day look at this good start to the day